you think, sir? Well, heaven forbid, they would not. Right, are you a good person? That's the test. It takes about a minute. You got a minute? Sir. Okay. Right, Have you ever told a lie in your life? Yes. What do you call someone that tells a lie? A liar. A liar. Have you ever stolen anything, irregardless of its value? Yes. Okay. What do you call someone who steals? A thief. A thief. Have you ever used God's name in vain? As a curse word. Siblings once. As a, how about God's name as a curse word? G G D or anything like that? Uh, sometimes. Ever? Okay, so that's blasphemy. Yeah. Very serious. Last one. How am I just gonna do four? Have you ever looked at a, a woman with lust and with lust that wasn't your wife? I don't have a wife. Uh, you don't have a wife? Okay. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Sexual uh, thoughts. Did. Sexual thoughts. Right. We all have. Right. Things. Yeah. So. So that's that's. Um, Jesus said, if you look at a woman with lust, you committed adultery in your heart because he judges by the heart. So by just four to the ten, you admitted you you are a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterer heart. Yeah. So if God was to judge you by the Ten Commandments, do you think you'd be innocent or guilty? Oh, guilty. Guilty. Does that concern you? Yeah. Yeah. Because because look right there. for my teenager years. I got you. I'm a lot better now. But the thing is, if you go before a judge, right, and and you. you you're going to have to take a right there and go down a few blocks at least right. and walk it in. For, for the pay parking? Oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. You got like the pass, the special pass? The VIP parking? No, we just want to pay. You just want to pay? Uh, pay that, yeah, it's yeah, anywhere around, but I, I parked it down that way and there was some, some spots. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, VIP is right here, but you need to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I steer it wrong. Yeah. So, but if you go before a judge, just a regular judge, and, and you, you murdered somebody 10 years ago, and you say, well, but that was back when I was a teenager, yeah. and now I'm a good person, he's still going to hold you accountable, right? So that's, our God, our God is a holy and righteous judge, and if you stand before him, if you've, if you've sinned against him, um, you know, he's going to hold you accountable. Yeah. So, according to God, he's going to give you hell. That's the, the standard. You, and, and you've got a cemetery right there. We're all going to face God someday, right? And so uh, the reason I'm out here is... have the same guilt as you. Yeah. And, and the Bible says no one is good, no not one, but Jesus Christ. So do you know the gospel? Do you know what Jesus did for you on your behalf? Yes. What did he do for you? Tell he me. He sacrificed himself That's so right. that we could be forgiven for ourselves. That's right. That's right. He stood in our place, right? Yeah. He died the death we deserve. He took the punishment you and I deserve from God. The full wrath of God was poured out on Jesus. And, and what, is, what does he command us to do? To follow the Ten Commandments and live... To live our life caring and giving to others. Well, see, those are fruits. Those are fruits of yeah. a born again heart. When Jesus gives us a new heart, God gives us a new heart, you will start to care about others. You want to give. But here's the thing we can't keep the law on our own. We can't. Yeah. You and I fail every single day, right? That's why the Bible says no one is good. And that's what this whole test is about. It's to, a lot of people think they are good because we compare ourselves to, to say, Hitler or Saddam Hussein. I'm not, I'm not mistakes. Yeah, we've all sinned. But that's what this is trying to show you. And, and so the thing is, if we if I sin against my, my friend Kobe, that's one thing. It's not as serious, right? Yeah. But if I sin against a holy, perfect, righteous God, the punishment is eternity in hell. So what the Bible commands us to do is to repent. That means to turn from sin, yeah. turn from our lust, turn from our, our, our um, you know, blasphemy, our stealing, and to put our faith in Christ, to trust in Him and Him alone. So you and I can't do it on our own, right? God has to give us a new heart. He has to, to make it where, where we can live for Him. So I would encourage you to please do this today. Pray to Him. Cry out to Him. Seek God. Read the Bible. Do you have a Bible? Yeah. You don't have a Bible? Okay, because yeah. I've, I've got yeah. one. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. it's still the Word of God, right? It's, it's a supernatural book that God has given us. Um, so I'd encourage you to do that. Today I'm going to give you this. If you'll look it over. Can I, can I pray with you real quick before you go? What's your first name? Noah. Noah. Thank you for stopping, by the way. Yeah. It's encouraging when people stop and talk. You know, it's like, what do you want to do? Want to have conversations? Yeah. So, oh, no. Did you whip it? A little bit. It's, uh, it's this thing. <laughs> almost as old as I am. Gotcha. Dear Lord, um, thank you for letting Noah stop here today on this beautiful day, Lord. I pray that he would have a... A good day as he goes into Pentecost, have a lot of fun and, and just enjoyment, Lord. And, and Lord, I pray that the, the small gospel that I shared with him today, Lord, it would open his heart, Jesus. He would he would see his need for your salvation, Lord. He would see that, that, that we are wicked sinners, Jesus. We have broken your law and that we cannot save ourselves, God. You alone can save us, Jesus. You made a way for us, and I pray that you will reveal yourself to Noah today, Lord. Please, God, none of us know when we will stand before you and when we will, we will die, and, and we all will someday, Lord. Please, God, bless him, bless his family, and let this uh, go forth throughout his family, Jesus. Let, let many believers come through this gospel proclamation, and let Noah be saved today. I thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Noah. Thank you for stopping, man. Have a great day. I kind of do for my, like, uh, atonement is I always try to pick up trash I see on the ground. Well, that's a good thing to do, right? Better, yeah. It's a good thing to do. Good thing to do.
it, yeah, save you. that's you right. See, see, like, like if we go before God and we say we did good things, God, I, I helped a lady cross the road, I picked up trash. Then what? That's what I did, but yeah, and it's also it's also like we're trying to bribe God. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like it's, you're it's going it's before a judge. Bribe, just something I do to. Yes, yeah. I know this is my punishment. I'd say for making mistakes. It's something I do try to punish myself a little bit and make something else, someone else have a greater day. Yeah, they can see something right. pretty and see and not see this everywhere. And see, you realize. That, 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 that you are a sinner, right? And, yeah. that's, and that's good. Um, trust in Christ for your salvation, right? Trust that he did it all for you. Yeah. He took our punishment, okay? Yeah. He, he really did on that he, cross. He, he paid the price. He took our punishment before yeah. God. Amen. All right? Trust in him for your salvation, and you will be saved. Amen. God bless you, Noah. God bless you. Thank you for stopping, brother. Have a good day. Hello, guys. Can I give you something to eat? Stay safe in the seat. Thank you, man. How you doing? Give you something to eat when you get some time. How you doing, man? Okay. You got bless you. Okay. How you doing, sir? God bless you. Hello, guys. Give you something to eat. Thank when you get you. some time, you're welcome. How's it going? Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. Okay. See you, buddy. How's it going, guys? Going for each other. Here you go, sir. God bless you.